Om Burma Swa means I want to be grounded with the earth. I want to be in harmony with the earth. Om Burma Swa, that's Sabitur Varenium, omnipresence energy, you want to be omnipresence energy, the energy of life, which is omnipresence also. Okay? Om Burma Swa, that's Sabitur Varenium, Bhargo Deva Siyadi Mahi, that which eliminates the whole world, eliminate me. Dio Yona Prachodaya, have mercy on my soul, O universe. I, what should I, I, I bow to you, O Prachodaya, Tandu Lakshmi Prachodaya, Tandu, whatever it is, Prachodaya, it means I'm bowing to the universe. How many of us do us bow to the universe? Anyway, today I'm not going to preach to you and tell you that how, to, how you should bow to the universe. I'm going to tell you today how you should create the universe. See, we don't realize it, but we are creators of the universe. Look around you. Look on the road and tell me what was not created by man. Everything is created. You know, it's nice to use that uh, television set and press the remote control and it looks like magic. You're able to change the channel at will uh, from a distance. But it was all created by man, isn't it? Look at what our mind can create. Our mind can create the world. Our mind can create this computer that's going to do all of these wonderful things and fantastic things, or the laser, laser light, which can, which can go into the eye and fix the eye without even a surgery. Or ultrasound, you can see the baby without even cutting the womb to look into, into it. Look at what we are creating. We are, we are the engineers, we are the architects of this universe. We ourselves. So you are telling me that if you have a simple pain, you can create all of this stuff, but you can't remove that simple pain? Tell me about it. Look at that. How can we still suffer from cancer after 100, 200 years? How can we still suffer from TB or one of those psoriasis skin disease? or MS, which is uh, um, like Lou Gehrig's disease and so on. How can we still suffer from that after we have created all of these wonderful things in the universe? We are creators. And we are still not able to cure MS today, or cure TB uh, completely, or cure, cure cancer. Why? Seems like we are very intelligent when it comes to divine, uh, creating all of these beautiful homes, beautiful houses, nice refrigerators, nice computer, but we are stupid when it comes to, to creating our health. Man is so stupid when it comes to doing healing himself. Because why? Because we ignore ourselves and we go into the outer world. We ignore ourselves and we worry about the material world. More, so we put more emphasis on that. Well, you know, I'm lazy, I really cannot uh, sit down in a uh, meditate for two hours, for one, for half an hour or so. You know what? I'd rather just go and build a computer. Right? Or, I am so uh, weak, I am not going to walk, I'm not going to run 100 miles, I'm going to take the taxi. I'm going to take the car. So man has moved from the inner to the outer. And so, that's why he gets sick. Because when he um, gets all of these outer things, I, I, like, the, I like the example where the family, um, the, the, the couple gets married, they buy a Mercedes Benz, they buy a BMW, they get a nice job, and they forget about the child, and the child's a babysitter, and the child grows up, and when the child grows up, then the child starts to take drugs, and, and end up in prison, and then they have to sell the Mercedes Benz, and sell the, the house, and sell the land to rescue kid. Very good example of inner outer um, 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 priority. So then we we miss our purpose because we're so involved in trying to get a new house, get a mortgage, get all of these things that we forget that we exist, that we have to spend time with ourselves. And so that's why we get sick. So here, you can become creator. You can create your happiness. You know? I had this um, couple fighting all the time.
uh, every time she, he, she, she, she comes to me, she'll say, he's doing this, he's doing this, he's doing this. And the, when the guy comes, she's doing this, she's doing this, she's doing this. Right? So I told him a little story. I said, when there was once a prostitute living in this house, and next to her was a priest, also a temple. He had a temple there, and they had the prostitutes living there. So every time the um, men would go in, the priest would notice the men going in. So she, he keeps counting, and then one day he couldn't take it, so he called her over. And he says to her, he says, you know, my dear daughter, you are practicing a very bad sin. You are go surely going to go to hell if you don't stop. So she asked forgiveness, she redeemed herself, and she said, okay, uh, reverend, I will not do it again. So after many years passed, um, she started doing it again. The men started coming in. So this priest would take a stone and throw it in the pot. So every time a man goes in the house, she will throw a stone. So soon time the stones got very big. And they got older. So he called, he couldn't take it anymore. He called her over back and he said, you know, look at this pile of stones, my dear. This is what many of them had. You surely going to go to hell. So that night she cried and she asked for good, but she cried and she died. And he died also. So they came to the door of heaven. And Abraham was waiting there. So he said to the, to the prostitute, he says, okay, you can come into heaven. He says, you, you can go back. Not there. So he said, wait a minute, hold it. I think you made a mistake now, didn't you? You know, I'm the priest. She's not the priest. She's a prostitute. He says, yeah, but she was born as a prostitute, and you were born as a priest. But you were so busy looking at her, you forgot to pray. So you have to go back up there. And she did her job. She came as a prostitute. She performed her job, and so she's going to heaven. Right? What is it telling us? We spend so much time finding fault and looking at the other people yes. that we forget to perform our own duty, our own duty to ourselves. Why worry about that person? Right? That's why these shows are popular, like, uh, what do you call these uh, shows? Uh, yeah. Not reality, yeah, the, the, the gossip shows. <laughs> yes, the Hollywood gossip shows. Okay? I forgot what they did on Channel 4. Insiders, insider something. Insider, insider something. Yeah, they talk about people. Yeah. Okay. So now they're so busy spending time on other people's lives, and you don't forget about your own life, right? And then, because we are not concentrated on ourselves, because we're not concentrated on, on our own, our own. Um, purpose in our life, right? Because we are not aware of our, our, ourselves, we end up in trouble. Right?